Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this gorgeous angel inspired set of nails. So if you guys would like to see how I achieve this set, then just keep on watching. So as usual, I've already buffed my personal nails. I also applied some nail cleaner. And straight after that, I am going in with some base coat, just a nice thin layer of base coat. The base coat I'm using in today's video is from Venelisa. I got to say that applying top coat, I mean base coat actually, sorry, is definitely one of my favourite parts. I just love how matte and cloudy those nails are and as soon as you apply the top coat it just becomes so nice and clear and it's just honestly my favourite part which is so funny because it's such a small tiny little thing but it's got to be my, well at least one of my favourite parts because I do have a quite a few when it comes to doing these press on nails um, but definitely buffing those nails has got to be my least favourite. I always mention what I like the most but I haven't really been saying what I don't like and that has got to be one of the worst things I just really don't like it, it really hurts your fingers, especially the little little tiny nails, so oh gosh, but it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. So now that the base coat has been applied and it has now came out of the lamp, we can now start applying our base colours. So for this nail design, we are using two base colours. So pretty much for all of them, it will be the nude colour that I'm using. And that nude colour is from the company called Gel Polish Cloud Beauty in the um, colour number NY... NY? What? N17. I can't seem to talk today. Sorry, guys. In the colour, if I say it again, N uh, N17. And then for the ring finger, we are going to just use a plain black. And I'm just using a black colour from Vanellisa and... The shade number is just literally black. <laughs> it says black on it, so you can definitely find that one very easily. I quite like it when they actually use words. I feel like it's so much easier sometimes. Um, so that whole thing is going into the lamp and it's coming back out for another layer of our gel polishes. So we're doing a second coat of all of those colours. So the nude again along with the black. I just wanted to say that I love how this set has came out. It's absolutely gorgeous. I really hope that the thumbnail or like when I go ahead and do the pictures for these come out that way too because it's such a gorgeous set. Especially with the gel polishes I use, the sparkle effects on these nails are just so gorgeous. So I'm really excited and I really hope that the pictures that I do for the thumbnail really does it justice because they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So after applying the two top coats, so after applying the two coats, we are going to pop the whole set into the lamp and then when it comes back out, we can start working on our nail art designs, which is the favorite part ever. So we are going to start off with applying some Macart Crystal Gem glue on the black nail. And we're going to put quite a few, like not quite a few, quite a bit of that gel there just because we're going to use a big crystal there and I want to make sure that it absolutely stays there. And we are applying this a big crystal and I'm just going to mainly focus on the top part of the nail but making sure it's in the middle. And yeah, I just really wanted to use these so I'm quite happy I got the chance to. And then whilst I'm working on the rest of the nails, I pop that one into the lamp. Um, especially when I use big crystals, I like to quickly pop it into the lamp because I'm always worried that because they're so big and heavy that they're going to slide off the nail. So I literally quickly pop it into the lamp so I don't have to worry about that. And now we are working on the middle finger. So with the middle finger, I'm doing, I'm just like drawing a line going across the nail and then just filling in one side. And we're going to do that exact same thing for the pinky, but we're going to do the reverse um, side of the nail basically that we're going to colour in. So as you can see now, I'm taking the pinky and we're going to do the reverse side. So that's going to look quite cool on our nails, especially when you're going to have all those pressed nails next to each other in the whole line, all 10 fingers. They look so cool. Super, super nice. So we're just going to do that real quick. I'm also really happy with this nail design because I've also had so many foils with angels on them and I was so keen to use them and create them with something so I'm really happy how this set came out and I and that I actually got the chance to use both those angel foils and also that big 
golden crystal because that was something I really wanted to do for such a long time. It feels like forever now that I've been eyeing them down but never really anything to create with them so I'm happy I got two today. But so now we are working on the index finger and I'm going in with my nail art brush and I'm just kind of outlining a cloud and we're going to do three of those. So we're going to do first cloud right at the top, one cloud in the middle and one cloud at the bottom. And you kind of want to not make it too thin in the sense of there's almost no gel polish. You want to kind of find a medium balance because in a moment we're going to take a different nail art brush and we're going to tr basically drag the top of the cloud downwards so that we kind of try and fade it down. I've realized that maybe the nail art brush that I was using wasn't the best one. I've done these kind of clouds before and they came out so much better but I did use a different brush, a much more wider and thicker brush. And I kind of want to say maybe I use, use slightly less product, but I know it just came out so much different. And that's kind of what I was hoping for this set. But I feel like it still came out nice just because we're, we are popping the angels on top of those clouds and you can barely see them. Um, so it's not too much of a worry if you're not too keen on those clouds, which is really nice. So I'm just dragging all of that down. And that is what it's looking like so far. It almost looks like the clouds are bleeding down the nail. <laughs> Um, so now the whole set went to the lamp, we are now back out and I am now going to apply a second layer of the black. So we're just going over that black bit that, that we already have painted on to the middle finger and the pinky and we're just going over that because we want to make it so much more opaque. It's still not as opaque as I wanted it to so we are doing a second layer. I always find that layer so much easier to do just because the outline's already there I just have to follow it. I, I just find the first layer to be always the hardest. The second one is always so much nicer and you also kind of see less imperfections in your gel polish which is also quite nice because with the first one sometimes it's so and even I'm confused what's going on but the moment I pop the second layer on it just kind of disappears and everything just evens out nicely and looks really good so it's nice with the second layer and we're going to do something different with the set too so all of the fingers are going to be matte but there are going to be some sparkly bits I'm going to use this very shiny glittery gel polish but I don't want to make it matte because it's so shiny that I want it to come through the nail set and make it very you know sparkly and stuff so we're going to do something I've never done before and I'm not too sure if it is the right way to do it um so let me know in the comments if that is the right way or if there's any other better ways to go around this um you could say that maybe I pick the easier route on this one but there was just so much going on in this set and it was so time consuming that I thought this will probably be the best bet, but we'll see. So um, I am also now taking the cloud nail and we are going to apply some of our McCart transfer foil gel because on that nail we're going to apply our little angels. So you can also do a few things with this. You don't always have to apply it across the whole nail if you know you're not going to like put the... Um, foils across all of that nail. I just did that for my own comfort just because I wasn't too sure where I'm placing those angel angels yet But if you know exactly where you're placing something or you're only placing stuff at the bottom You can always just I think apply that just to the bottom You don't probably need it across your whole nail But I applied it across the whole nail and you need to make sure you pop it into that for at least a minute Because that's what it specifies on the bottle and um, if you don't do that It will just create problems and you are not gonna have an easy foil application. That's for sure. So now it's time for our crystals. So we are working on the middle finger and I'm putting two big crystals in the middle and then two smaller crystals of either side of that. So I'm almost creating like a little diamond with those crystals really. That's kind of what it's looking like. And then for the pinky finger, we're doing something somewhat similar, but we are doing a big crystal at the top followed by a slightly smaller crystal at the bottom. And that is kind of the last bit on the crystals. So nothing too crazy when it comes to the crystal placements and stuff like that but I really feel like that sparkly gel polish that we're going to use in a moment really brings this set to life and I don't know I just feel like if I didn't use it this probably wouldn't look as good as it looks so I hope you guys see what I mean in a moment when we start applying it it's such a gorgeous gel polish I got it ages ago I got quite a few bottles because I loved them so much that I wanted to sell them for a while but I just never got I just never got around to doing it and I just had other things in my mind at the time so I basically have like <laughs> 10 bottles of different colors um, and I'm just yeah slowly gradually working through them now because I love them so much so luckily they didn't go to waste and I ordered stuff that I actually liked so here I had cut out 
two angels that I like the most from my little foil set and I've placed them down and I'm just pushing them down with my little silicone tool and this was probably the most easiest um, foil application. I literally pressed it down like four times and it came through, completely through. I don't know what went wrong as in what I normally do wrong because this was so easy and so quick. I'm very shocked. I think with the bottom one I needed to do some extra yeah on the face it was a bit of a problem but just a quick little scrub and it was good to go so yeah i'm really happy with that it was super easy and nice normally i have to sit here for at least five minutes scrubbing it down but usually i use foils that i literally across the whole nail so that's maybe why i'm not too sure but that's what it's all looking now we're going to pop it into the lamp quickly just to cure those extra black bits that we popped on there and now it is time for our matte top coat so we are applying our matte top coat across all those nails um, always make sure you try and avoid the crystals because if you apply the matte top coat onto the crystals you're just going to dim down the crystals um, and it's just it's essentially it's almost like it's pointless that you put them there because they're no longer going to be sparkly and obviously if you're putting crystals down that's clearly what you want to do so try and avoid it I'm sorry about the focus situation here I don't know what went wrong there and um, of course unless you are actually going for that gloomy cloudy crystal look then go ahead but yeah i definitely wasn't in the set i really wanted that sparkle to come through so i tried to avoid the crystals as much as possible i have sometimes by accident put the matte top coat onto the crystals and then later noticed after taking it out of the lamp and i did a little scratch with my nail on the crystal and it came straight off which was quite nice i don't know if that kind of works with all crystals if by accident like an sos situation if that's gonna work for you guys but maybe worth a try <laughs> it was like a crazy like freaking out moment where i was like oh my goodness it's on there and i quickly tried to scratch and it came off so that was quite nice and a little little maybe tip in case that happens um but yes so we are trying to avoid everything as possible with the crystals and then once it goes into the lab we can start applying our sparkly gel polish that i am most obsessed with and i hope you guys are too because it's definitely worth the while <laughs> um and yeah it's going into the lamp right now and now this is what it's looking like and it's looking so good. I so prefer this set with the matte top coat. Sometimes I do sets and I'm not always too sure about popping the matte top coat but this one definitely hits different with the matte. Especially now as we just saw the frames change from glossy to matte. I definitely prefer the matte. So here we have our sparkly gel polish so this gel polish is from rosalind and it's called shiny platinum gel and it's a five milliliter little bottle and they have all different sorts of um colors they have silver they have i think i'm using rose gold in this one they have reds they have greens they have all sorts of colors and they're absolutely gorgeous like absolutely gorgeous i love it so much you can already see how much it has added to the set it's looking gorgeous i love it so we are doing another line on both the middle finger and the pinky we are basically mimicking or following kind of the line that we already created with the black just slightly above and we're just creating just that one line and it's so funny because it's such a small little extra touch of the nail but it has literally changed it so much it's so crazy how these things really impact i guess it's like art so it really impacts so much so we have done that and it's looking really good and I really like it. So I'm popping those into the lamp. And because I still wasn't too happy with the opaqueness of this. Because unfortunately with this gel it is a bit more on the sheer side. As in, you know, I'd like to pop my brush into the gel polish. And, you know, have it super opaque and super sparkly. But of course naturally it's just not going to be like that. So I popped into the lamp. I am now going in with a second coat. So we are once again going to apply a second coat on both of those nails. And then once they go onto the lamp, this is the bit where I'm not too sure if it was the right move or not, but I wanted it obviously sparkly and um, we already applied the matte top coat. So I put some of the glossy top coat on my little plate on the right hand side. Um, and then with a nail brush, I just went over the, only the sparkly bit and applied some glossy top coat because obviously naturally the gel polish is going to be sticky. So you need a top coat. So <laughs> I popped some glossy top coat on that i am now thinking if maybe if i just wiped that nails to just take off the you know tacky layer would that have worked without having to apply the top coat but at least i know that top coat will, you know will create that glossy look on it and not make it muted and i'm worried that if i would have applied some nail clean and just removed the tacky layer would that have maybe muted the color a little bit so i am happy the way i did it 
So this is just me applying the last bit of that top coat. We are going to pop the set into the lamp and then we can finally show the final results. So this is what it looks like. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to tag me if you recreate any of my nail designs. And yeah, this will just conclude the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.